come on today's show. Super Slow Mo Tuesday will have your head spinning. That's just ahead, but first, time for digital. Thank you, Lucas. Okay, now moving on. What do turtles, jackhammers, and windmills all have in common? Obviously, they're all on today's Super Slow Mo Tuesday because we just showed the graphic. Oh, you're so smart. So smart, and you are correct. Yeah, yeah, I can figure things out. I'm pretty good at that. Got such good reasoning skills. Okay, but we do have one more surprise coming up. Let's go off to the Slow Mo Studio. Wait, not that? what you were expecting, Dan Riskin, no, right? No, it isn't. That okay. is not what I expected. I thought so. This is B-Boy Stunt, and he was kind enough to show us his slow-mo action in studio. He's doing turtles, jackhammers, all those things. Those uh, are breakdancing moves. They're breakdancing moves. Okay, so this is regular speed. You can certainly tell how much speed and power he has by watching this. But if we want to break it down, we got to bring in the big gun. So let's get the super slow-mo footage going. Okay, so now you can start to see what's really happening. Balance and momentum are key here. So the more force stunt starts with, the more momentum he actually has to keep going. So you can think of the whole body like a big thing moving on a circle, and when a breaker wants to adjust their speed, they can extend their limbs. That makes them bigger. It slows down the rotation, just like a figure skater. And then when they bring those limbs in, it goes much faster because their, uh, their momentum, their inertia, comes in closer to the center. So how do you and I pull this off, Dan? Well, you know what we'd really need? We would need some muscle, and we need to focus on our abs because those are important stabilizers. And those are the ones that actually allow us to perform this move that we're looking at called the jackhammer, all yeah. in the abs. And do these head balancing spins. But don't say we didn't warn you. We asked stunts about his injuries, and he admits that he's almost always got some kind of wrist problem. And in fact, we found a study done by a German group, and according to them, they couldn't find a single breaker who was above a certain level of ability who was totally injury-free in their career. Seventy percent of them have at least one overuse injury. Yeah, it kind of makes me think a little bit differently about break dancing, you break, know? Break, breaks, yeah. Okay, anyway, that's it for today's Super Slow Mo Tuesday. We've got lots more planned in the week.